How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Here I want to show you how to use the LG G Pad. This is going to be a, uh, a beginner video on just the basics of how to use this tablet. And uh, let's start with just the super simplest thing, which is the buttons. On the right side of the tablet, at the top, you're going to have a button right here. This is going to be your uh, standby button. When you press it, it will turn the tablet off. And then um, press it again, and that will wake up the tablet. Okay? And when it's uh, the tablet's asleep for a long period of time, and when you turn it back on, it won't take you to this screen. It actually will take you to uh, like the what's called the lock screen. You actually have to swipe your finger across the screen to get it to come right here. So that's just an important thing to know. It won't always open up right here, okay? The next thing is uh, if we hold down on this button, so if I just hold down, it will launch a couple of options here. So I have a power button to actually turn the tablet completely off. There's a restart and then there's an airplane mode. And also there is a three options down here which is vibrate, sound, and if you press it, it changes it, so let me be careful here. We have mute, uh, vibrate, and we have our volume on. So depending on how you want the sound, maybe you're going into a meeting or church or something like that, and you don't want it to make noise, you can mute it or put it on vibrate. If you want it to make noise and be able to hear the notifications, you're going to hit this one, that's going to turn all the volume up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and tap on there and now the volume is turned up, okay? And then right below the standby button, there's two more buttons, which is our volume up and down. And just to show you, there's a little wheel right here. When you tap on that wheel, there's actually three different volumes you can control, but it's quick, so we gotta be really fast with it. So uh, we hit the wheel, we have notification sounds, we have touch and system, and music, videos, and games. And so the difference is, the tablet makes noises based on where you tap certain things. That's one of the options. One more time here. If you want to play music or games, you would use this one. It keeps going away. There we go. So this is if you want to play music or play a game, control that volume. Maybe you're using Instagram or Facebook and you want to listen to like a video or something. You would turn this one up and down. This one is for the system. Um, like when you hit buttons, what sound it makes. And this is for notifications, so if you get an email or an app is trying to communicate with you, then that's the sound that makes. So you have three different volumes, and you just hit volume up or down, and hit the wheel, and that's going to take you right there. Okay? So the, these tablets are pretty uh, basic to use. I'm going to go over this, the main things you need to know in order to be able to use it if you're a first-time user. So right at the bottom here, we have our uh, navigation buttons, and this is actually how you move around the tablet. Um, we're going to start with this one, which has a picture of a house, which is the home button. So what this does is when, whenever you're in an app, which are all these little things are apps or applications, which are also another name for programs. Um, let's say I'm in Domino's, for example, right? And you're playing a game. What you can do is maybe you're finished playing the game, or maybe you didn't mean to press that. It's totally fine. Down here... You tap on the house and it'll take you back to your home screen. So no matter what you're doing, if you tap on that little house, it always takes you back to your home screen. And just to show you, uh, sometimes these won't always look like this. In fact, let me go back to Domino's and you can see how they slightly change so that they're not in the way. So they actually change to little dots. So you just have to know that the second one is going to be your home. And when I tap it, it's going to take me back to the home screen. So that's what home does. The one to the right here is your recent apps. And this is really important because whenever you open up one of these little apps or applications, um, just because you hit the home button and it take you back to the main screen, doesn't mean it closes the app. The app continues to run in the background and you have to be careful if you leave it running too long, it will drain the battery. So what you want to do every so often is hit this button here, recent apps, and you can close these just by swiping. If I swipe it, it goes away just like that. I can hit clear all as well and that closes all the apps right there. And then go back home. Home button right here. All right, this next button is really cool. This is a back button and it basically will take you one step back 
from whatever you just did. So for example, let's say I open up the Play Store, which is where you download games and um, books, movies, things like that. Let's say I wanna go to settings, right? But maybe I didn't mean to press it. Maybe I pressed the wrong button. If I hit the back button here, it actually will take me back one step. So I'm still in the app, just takes me back one step. If I press it again, it's gonna take me out of the app. So it's just a way of undoing whatever you did Maybe you hit the wrong button. This takes you just back one step. So that's just your simple back button right there. Okay. This button right here is really cool. It's exclusive to LG. And this is a split screen button. And what it does is it allows you to actually have two apps open at one time. So for example, I can tap on Chrome, which is the internet. And I can tap on YouTube. And I can literally watch a YouTube video at the bottom of the screen while at the top, be on a uh, website or a page looking up something on the internet. So it's really cool. It allows you to do two things at one time and it's just all by tapping this button right here. And then this shows you all the apps that are available in this section. See that? Hit the home button. It'll take us back and there we go. All right, so the next thing is, one thing you'll notice if you've ever, some of you may have had an iPad before, for other this may be your first tablet, you'll notice that all your apps are not gonna be on one of these pages. That's how other tablets do it. But for Android, this little button right here is your app drawer. And what this does is when you tap it, it takes you to all the apps that are on the tablet. So notice I have a lot more in here than you see on the home screen. So if you ever wanna get to an app that you just downloaded, you would do it, just go right here, tap on it, and there's gonna be all your apps. And if you don't see the one you just downloaded, you just swipe um, left and it'll take you to the second page. So that's how you get to all the apps that are on the tablet. And then next we have uh, the notification panel. And this is really cool because any type of communication that comes into the tablet is gonna be in this section. So for example, if you get an email, if you get a, note, if you get a message on Facebook or, um, I don't know, maybe the tablet needs an update. You'll all see it here. So go to where it says LG and you're just gonna swipe down. And this is the notification panel right here. And so right in this section, you'll see all your different notifications. So I can see how many emails I have. Uh, Words with friends, is it, time for, is it my turn to play? And if so, you just tap on it and it takes you right to that app. Now, right above that, you do have these are switches and these control different functions on the tablet. So for example, if I want to change the brightness, I'm going to hit this button. If I want to turn the GPS on and off, I'm going to tap here. Rotation lock, what this does is if you turn the tablet sideways, maybe you're watching a video but you don't want to view it in this uh, portrait mode, you can actually turn the tablet sideways and this will make it so it rotates the whole picture on the screen. We have battery saver, which helps to kind of conserve battery. Airplane mode for when you're getting on those long plane rides. Sync, which updates any new information like emails or things like that. And now if we tap on edit here, you'll see that there are more switches you can choose from. Data enabled, quick remote, screen timeout. These are all other options you have, but for the most part, the primary ones are selected which are these right here. Now you can actually swipe back and forth up here and get to a whole nother list of other switches. So there's like quick memo. This is how you connect to your Wi-Fi. So like if you, if you were at a friend's house and you wanted to connect to their wireless internet, their Wi-Fi, you make sure this is blue by just tapping it. And then what you're gonna do is hold down on it and it actually will take you right to the Wi-Fi section. And then you're gonna look for your friend's Wi-Fi network here, and we tap on it, and then we're gonna put in their password, and then that's gonna allow us to connect to it. So really cool there. Cancel, I'm gonna swipe back down. You can swipe on any screen that you're on. It's gonna bring this up all the time. Uh, our sound, this is another way to turn the volume to high sound or mute or vibrate. Bluetooth, quick pair, quick slide. And that's about it. Um, you also have a cool shortcut right here to your settings. So if you ever swipe down, the settings is going to be right here. And then if I want to get rid of this, I just swipe right back up and it's gone. And right now I'm in the settings. I'm going to hit the home button and that's going to take me back to the main screen. 
One last thing, uh, if you want to download new apps or new applications or programs, you would do it in the Play Store. So we would tap on here. Notice right now we're now on the internet, so you would have to be on the internet first, but in here is where you would search for new applications. So maybe if you wanted Facebook, Instagram, Candy Crush, games, things like that, you would look for it all in this section. All right, and we're gonna go back home. And that's about it, guys. I uh, hope you did find this helpful. I just wanted to do a really basic video and just teach you how to use this tablet. Uh, I know a lot of people have it, and there's not a lot of information on it, so I just wanted to provide this. I hope you guys did find it helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if you did find it helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to H2 Tech Videos, and have a good one.